Hi, Luke, and hi, Catherine. Um, so Lorna here, and this was quite an interesting problem for me to work on today, but I think I've got the guts of it. Um, so I like to think of things visually. So I started out with a probability tree, and given that he has mayo on Monday, then it's a two-way split. Um, I think it's the 0 0.6. If she gets mayo one day, 0 0.6, she'll get wedges on the next day. So 0 0.6 to wedges on Tuesday, which means there's a 0 0.4 to mayo on Tuesday. So the chances that she does mayo followed by a wedge for Tuesday is 0 0.6. And the probability that she does mayo followed by mayo for Tuesday is 0 0.4. Then, based on having a wedge on Wednesday, the probability of mayo after a wedge is 0 0.3. So the probability of a wedge after a wedge is 0 0.7. And after mayo, the probability of a wedge is 0 0.6. So the probability of mayo is 0 0.4. So then you get this is mayo followed by wedge followed by wedge. This is mayo wedge mayo. This is mayo mayo wedge. And this is mayo, mayo, mayo. And it basically follows that same thing all the way across to Friday. Now, when you get to Friday, there's loads of M's and W's. I hope you can read my writing. When you get to Friday, this here is mayo on Monday, wedge Tuesday, wedge Wednesday, wedge Thursday, wedge Friday. Pick another one just at random. This one here is Mayo Monday, Wedge Tuesday, Mayo Wednesday, Wedge Thursday, Mayo Friday. And down here at the bottom, you have Mayo, 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 the whole way across. The way you work out the probabilities of each of these is by multiplying the numbers down the line to that particular one. So if you're working out this top one, I'm just going to draw the line to trace it. So that top one there is going to be. 0 0.6 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. That's the probability for that one just by itself. The probability for this guy, um, let's try and trace it. So it's coming up this way, then down this way, then up this way, then down this way. That's going to be 0 0.6 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.3. And the last one for the Mayo the whole way is 0 0.4, 1, 2, 3, 4 of those, 0 0.4 to the power of 4. Okay, because there's four of them multiplied together. When you add, if you work out each one of these and you add them all up, so if you add up all of these, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 16 items here. When you add the 16 numbers, you should get one. Because that's probability, right? It always adds up to one. Now, to answer the actual questions uh, that you were asked, the first question you were asked was, What's the probability that she gets wedges on a roll on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? So this is open to interpretation, but I'm assuming that what they're asking is what's the chances of her getting Mayo Monday, followed by wedges Tuesday, followed by wedges Wednesday, followed by wedges Thursday, followed by wedges Friday, which is this number here. The, the probability of you're getting those combinations is up there. So that when I multiply it, looking for my calculator here, when I multiply that, I get 0 0.6 times 0.7 times, oops, try again, 0 0.6 times 0.7 times 0.7 times 0.7. I'm getting um, 0 0.2058. 0 0.2058. So that's about, um, if you write that as a percent, it's 20.58% of a chance that she gets that one up there. Um, 
So she gets wedges on a roll on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think that's the answer to that one, assuming that what they're really asking you is what's the probability of her getting Mayo on Monday, followed by wedges on Tuesday, followed by wedges on Wednesday, followed by wedges on Thursday, followed by wedges on Friday. That complete combination. Uh, what's the probability she gets wedges on a roll exactly three out of the next four days? So wedges exactly three times. So let's have a look here at my outcomes. So we're looking for the ones that have three W's. So let's look down through these outcomes for the ones that have three W's. So this has four W's. This has three W's. This has three W's. Only two W's there. This has three W's. Only two W's there. Only two W's there. One W there. Three W's here. Two W's. Two W's. One W. Two W's. One W. One W. No W's. So I'm seeing one, two, three, four outcomes where there are three W's. And what you do is you multiply up the numbers all the way down to the end for each of those. And then you add them together at the end. You add the four numbers that you've got from the multiplying together at the end. So I'm going to do that for you now. And I'm going to type the answer into the email that I attached to this video. I'm hoping that this will make sense to you. And that's enough M's and W's, I think, for one evening. Um, I will type the answer into the email that I attach with this. And I hope it makes sense. Please drop me a response if you have any questions. All right, that was fun for me anyway. Thanks, bye.